boys and girls. I greet you all once again in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Guess what? We've just finished the series on the eagle. And what was our memory verse, boys and girls? Isaiah 40, verse 31. They that wait upon the Lord shall mount up as who? As the eagle. Thank you. I know you've remembered. And guess what now? We are starting a new season and we are calling it The Journey. <laughs> calling it what? The Journey. We are starting our first lesson. We are starting as Jesus enters Jerusalem. And we call it the triumphant entry. As there was praising, the children were praising and all that. All the way we go and see the crucifixion, the way he went to the cross. And then after that, he resurrects. And then guess what? There is the journey to a mouse. And therefore, you are in for a season. You are in for a treat. So boys and girls, today, get your pen. Get your notebook. Because teacher Rosemary is coming to teach you. God bless you. Enjoy the moment. See you. Thank you so much, Pastor Beth. My name is Teacher Rosemary, and thank you so much for joining us for a Bible lesson today. And I hope you have your Bible ready, and your pen, and your notebook. And here, I also have my Bible, and I love my Bible. Oh, I love to read my Bible, my Bible, my Bible. Oh, I love to read my Bible. It goes through what? Yes, everything written in this Bible is true. And we are going to hear our Bible story from the Bible. But before we hear our Bible story, we are going to pray. Can we put our hands together, boys and girls, and pray? Dear God, we want to thank you because of this beautiful day that you have given us. As we listen to a Bible story, Bible lesson, help us to listen quietly. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I hope you are well. And today, we are going to hear of a very nice story from the Bible and from the book, the first book of uh, New Testament, that is Matthew. Because the Bible is divided into two. The Old Testament and the New Testament. Boys and girls, I want to ask you a question. If today our president, the president of Kenya, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, was to come to your school, what would, what would you do? What about if you are told to sing to him? Would you sing to him? How would you feel? I know you would be very excited. Today, in our Bible lesson, we are going to hear of a very special friend who visited a, a village and some children came singing to him. Boys and girls, Jesus was walking with his disciples. And Jesus, everywhere he went, he did good. And that day, Jesus was tired and he decided to take a rest on the Mount of Olives. And because it was a day that he wanted to go to Jerusalem because there was a great celebration, a very great feast. He wanted to enter the city of Jerusalem like a loving and a humble king. So Jesus sent his disciples. His disciples were his friends who used to walk with him every day wherever he went. The disciples went with Jesus. And Jesus sent his disciples to the next village to go get a donkey because Jesus wanted to ride on a donkey as he entered Jerusalem. Let us hear from the Bible what Jesus told the disciples. In the book of Matthew, chapter 21, and verse 2, it says, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt, by her, untie them 
and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will set them light away. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their crocs on them. Boys and girls, the disciples did as Jesus told them. They went and brought the donkey with a colt. A colt is a small donkey. And as they brought the donkey to Jesus, they knew that Jesus was the son of God. He was the king. And they knew that Jesus was supposed to ride the donkey as a king. So they took their crocs and they laid and spread them on the donkey very nicely. And they wanted to make Jesus comfortable as he entered Jerusalem. So they made a very nice seat for Jesus because Jesus is the son of God. And as Jesus rode the donkey, they started going towards Jerusalem, which was not very far. And when people from the surrounding villages saw Jesus, because remember children, there was a great festival and many people had come out of the streets so that they could go and attend that festival. There were many crowds on the streets. So the people saw Jesus riding on the donkey. The donkey was moving, creep, crop, creep, crop, creep, crop. And as the people saw Jesus, they were so excited and they remembered that Jesus was very kind to them and the good things that he had done in the past. When Jesus saw bright people, he would heal them. When he saw sick people, he would heal them. Even the rain could walk and the people were so excited. So every person wanted to, to see Jesus and they were so excited. And as they moved along, many people took all they had to lay or to spread them on the ground so that the donkey that was carrying Jesus could ride on the ground. Children, remember, mommies, uncles, aunties were spreading all they had, their sweaters, their crocs, everything that they had because they were telling Jesus, thank you for the good things that he had done for them. Boys and girls, Jesus is the son of God. And while Jesus was riding on that donkey, children were also there. Remember, Jesus loves little children. As the, as the children saw Jesus, they were so excited. And some of them took flowers, flowers, and threw on the ground for Jesus for the donkey to walk on them. And everybody was singing praises to Jesus. Mommy's daddies were praising Jesus. The Bible tells us in verse, in verse 10 that when they saw Jesus, they started singing, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Uh, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of of the Lord. If it is today, how can we sing for Jesus? Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. And you know what? Some people even cut branches. Branches and they would wave at Jesus and they would put them on the ground. Many would run and bring many branches to wave for Jesus. And a very big crowd was following Jesus and another crowd in front of Jesus. And as they approached Jerusalem, singing Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, everybody was alarmed. They did not know who is this. And people started asking, who is this? And they told him, this is Jesus, the one that God said would come. Boys and girls, as Jesus entered the temple with a great crowd. Children were singing 
praises, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. And Jesus was happy to see the little children. And you know what? In the church or in the temple, there were some readers who were not happy to see that the children were praising Jesus and they were angry and they asked Jesus, can you hear what the children are saying? And Jesus told them, yes, I can hear. The Bible tells us that Jesus told them, from the lips of children and infants, you, Lord, have called forth praises. Jesus was very happy to hear the children praise him, praising him. Others were jumping with their ropes. Others were praising him. And Jesus was happy. And he did not stop the children from praising him. Boys and girls, God or Jesus is happy when we are praising him. We can praise him when we are telling him, thank you. Can you remember of something that Jesus has done for you? Can you remember one thing that Jesus has done for you? Yes, he has healed you. He has given you life. That is something to tell him, thank you. And whilst those children were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, it was a language of saying, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Boys and girls, Jesus wants us to praise him. He wants you to praise him. And he is happy when you are praising him. Don't worry what the other people are saying, but praise him with your beautiful voice that he has given you. And Jesus, after telling those readers that the children should continue singing for him and praising him, Jesus left and went to the other city. Aren't you happy that Jesus loves to listen to your praises? Now, when you, when you sit down, take a pen and a paper and write all the good things and the kind things that Jesus has done for you. You can praise him by telling him thank you for giving you a mommy, a daddy, for giving you life. Because Jesus is happy when children praise him. And now we are going to say our scripture verse or our memory verse that comes from the book of Psalms chapter 9 and verse 1. It says, I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. Psalms chapter 9 and verse 1. We should praise God as children with all our hearts. And we are going to sing this as a, as a song so that you will remember this verse everywhere you go. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. Psalms chapter 9 and verse 1. Can we sing together, children? I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. Psalms chapter 9 and verse 1. Thank you, children, for your beautiful singing. Can you continue to sing, to sing for Jesus everywhere you go? Because Jesus loves the praises of children. And that is the end of my Bible lesson, children. Can you put your hands together, we pray? Dear God, we want to thank you because of teaching us today that you love to hear the beautiful voices of children as they praise you. How I pray for these children that you will continue uh, to encourage them to sing and praise you wherever they are. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, children. Thank you for listening to me so well. And now, giving is one way of praising God. And because I cannot come to your doorstep, you are going to give your sacrifice or your offering wherever you are. And our M Pesa number is 59 30 35. 59 30 35. 
You can go to your Mpesa or your mommy or your daddy, your uncle, your auntie can help you and give your offering because that is one way of praising God. God bless you. Bye. I will.